Hello everyone and welcome back to Extracurricular Activities. On the last episode we started our first actual date with Harold Co Coach Harold Grifter. We went to the buffet and now we're going to the theater! The theater! The theater! Oh, good god. Oh, it smells. Mm. The walk to the theater was a short one, but it was good to move around after eating so much food. Oh, look at that. It's like a cool little actual theater. So let's see. What kind of movie did you want to watch? Oh, fuck. I, I fucked up this act. I fucked this up in Amorous. Um. Well, comedy is nice. Action's okay. Animated is nice. Horror doesn't really. I don't know. Um. To set the tone for the night, they've been lighting, they've been lighting stuff. Action, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, animated, I don't know, he had a wife, I don't... Let's go with the comedy, comedy's safe bet. Safe bet is comedy. So that's something funny, I don't mind seeing a good comedy. I was hoping you say that, I like a good laugh, comedy's a great idea. Oh, thank God. Oh, we're right about the time to catch the movie. <laughs> How about that shit? No sitting for hours in the fucking fake ass theater cafe room. Uh, we are right there. Uh, we have a few minutes to grab some snacks and drinks before the movie starts. Oh, we're gonna miss the commercials? I don't wanna miss the commercials. And the little easy ass trivia questions at the beginning. This is my favorite. Snacks? Of course! We can't watch a movie without some snacks. I'm getting popcorn and a drink. Maybe I'll get you some too if you like. I'll just have a drink for this. I can't possibly eat more food. All right, I'll get the snacks and we can head to the theater. Are we at the theater? I don't know. <laughs> After a few minutes in line, the coach had what he wanted, and you follow to the theater. Your movie was planning. Ooh, look at that! Whoever's making these three D models, like it's very old, old style, like animation, but it's nice. Well, it's it, it's it's better than drawings, I think. I think you should keep these in until you have the drawings finished. And then move. I don't fucking know if they get it. DK999 watches this. Right on time for the previews. Oh, good. I want to watch the previews. Be sure your phone is turned on the. Ah, is Darius bothering you while we're watching the movie? Uh, sure thing. Hmm. References to things that have passed that never really resolved that. Once the lights dimmed to near total darkness, the movie began. Though, through the movie, Coach Grifter would start laughing hysterically, even at points so you found it only be mildly funny. His laughter bellowed through the theater. <laughs> and you couldn't help but grin to yourself in at his elation. Uh, at one point, he was having a hard time getting his giggling under control, so he had to put a hand on his and squeeze it. <laughs> Chill out, Coach. Chill out, you're not going to hear what they're saying. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll, I'll try. Uh, he didn't move his hand from underneath yours, and that was when it occurred to you how big his paw was. His hand was... You mix in hand and paw now. At least it's not like MLP where it's like, if you say hand, you're fucked. You gotta say... Uh, hoof. Hoof is it. You can't say hand. His hand was finally pulled free so he could scratch his chin, but he set his hand back down and he placed it on top of yours. <laughs> That's a sign! It was warm and you could feel his thumb idly rubbing the side of your hand. Oh, it's the sign of... Ooh. And whenever laughter tore through him, he, lightened his, he tightened his paw over it. When the movie ended, he finally released your hand. I went on a date with a guy and we tried to hold hands the entire time and after a while... And we agreed on this too, we never went on a date after this. I don't even remember that guy's name. Shit. But, um... I think it was a guy from from school, maybe? I honestly don't have a fucking clue. I really do not remember his name, good lord. But, um... We, we, we had our hands... Uh, we were holding hands the entire time, but our hands like went numb halfway through. But, and we even talked about this on the way home, we were like, This isn't happening again, is he? He's like, no. I was like, did your hand go numb too? He's like, yes, though, God, how do people do it? And I was like, I don't know. Uh, we were better suited as friends, so, yeah. Besides, I, I wouldn't change what I have now. That was a great movie. I think I enjoyed listening to you laugh more. I'm glad you enjoyed it so much. I'm glad you chose that one. Now that the movie is over, I guess it's time to call it a night, huh? It's getting kind of late. I guess so. There's not really much else we could do at this time. Yeah, everyone else is cool us up now. Let's get going. Oh, is he just gonna drop you off? Oh no, he's at, back at his house. 
Hey, just let me stop by here real quick, Thomas. No worries, I'm no, one, no rush to get home, so take your time. I just need to check on something, so you don't mind waiting here. I'll be right back. He needed to check on something, even though he was going to come here right after dropping you off. Hmm. Suspect. Hmm. Oh, who could that be right now? I guess I'll check on that first. Did Dan... Oh, no. That's his ex-wife, isn't it? Hi, Harold. What are you doing here? What kind of greeting is that, silly? Do you mind if I come in? Uh, sure, I have a guest over right now, but... <laughs> Sorry. I just, I just find that funny. It's in development. I'm not making fun of it. Uh, Thomas, this is Deanna, my ex-wife. Looks like a little schoolgirl right now. I don't know. Oh, come now. You don't have to introduce me like that. Hi there, I'm Diana. Nice a pleasure to meet you. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm Thomas. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No, we just ate dinner. I was about to take him home. He, uh, he helped me clean the backyard. It was really nice of him. So what brings you here? Oh, well, I'm, I'm in town for the next week, and I got here a little earlier than I intended, so I didn't have a hotel. I thought maybe I could stay here for a couple of days until my hotel was ready. You do have the guest room, after all. Uh, let me take Thomas home, then we'll talk about it when I get back, okay? Oh, you don't have to rush him away just because I showed up. Like I said, I was about to take him home anyway. I won't be gone long. Well, that was nice meeting you, Thomas. Oh, and you too, Diana. I'll be back soon, Di. Be careful, guys. Fuck exes that can't get out of their exes' lives. Like, you broke it all- you left because you couldn't accept who he was. Get the fuck out of his life if you're gonna leave. Don't just keep coming back and frick fucking put the band-aid on, rip it off, put the band-aid on, rip it off. No! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Little Karibo, yeah, that's his joke. He, Royal Rumble review. Mark remark, watch that shit. It's funnier than I am. That was unexpected. Tell me about it. Uh, are you going to be alright, coach? Honestly, I don't know. It was the last thing I would have expected. Today had been such a great day, and now I don't know how I feel. I haven't talked to her in over a year, and I haven't seen her since she left. Why is she back all of a sudden? Why'd she have to choose tonight of all nights? You put your hand on his arm. She said she's in town for something. But why'd you have to come by from ask me for a place to stay? <laughs> I'm sure you'll be okay, just just remember you can call or text me if you need to. And we've got practice tomorrow, so you can get some steam out on the courts. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Thomas. I'm sorry for losing my cool. Anyway, here you are back home. I'll see you on the courts tomorrow, okay? Alright, be careful driving home, Harold. I'll let you know when I'm back, too. Yo, back! Jesus Christ! Yo, back! Ah, oh, Maria, you startled me. I heard the car pull up and I rushed in here to see you. So how was it? Oh, wow, where to begin? You sat down to Maria and told her about the date with the coach up until the point where you got home. Of course, you left out one detail and she didn't need to hear about the coach's sudden advances on you. So was X is back in town, that poor man must be feeling so conflicted right now. Yeah, he's really torn up, it seems. I hope he's going to be all right. He'll be fine. I just make sure he knows that you're here for him. That's the best you can do right now. All right, I'm going to go to my room now. I hope he texts me soon. He should be home already. I'm sure he's there just dealing with things. Now go get some rest. Thanks, Maria. You dropped down to your bed and grabbed a pillow just so you can curl up with and hug to tie to your chest. Man, what a day, huh? I really hope he's going to be all right. It would be nice if he'd text me. Not smooth, but it was there. Just let you know I got home and going to bed. Thanks for the great day. We'll talk more later, sweet dreams, Thomas. Okay, okay, thanks for taking me out. I had a blast today. I can't wait till we do it again. Sleep all tonight. Glad he's home, but how's he feeling? Day 15. How many fucking days? Uh, Thomas and turned all night. I barely slept. You barely sleep at all in this fucking game. It's already after 10. I've been so worried about Coach. I hope he's doing all right. It looks like I missed a message from him. Came through a little while ago. Practice is canceled today. Can you let the rest of the team know? Uh, sure thing. You doing all right? I don't know. I can come over if you need me to. 
I'll get back to you on that. Oh man, he's really not feeling it right now. I should, I should, I feel like I should go regardless. He might need some help, time alone. With, he might need some time alone. But he might need some. But he might need some time alone. Okay. Time alone with Diana. I wonder is is he gonna get back together with her? He talked about still loving her. Does that mean he just wanted to share it? He's gonna be tossed aside so soon. Just let me know, all right, Harold. I'm here for you. I guess there's nothing else I can do now. I'll just let the team know about practice, though. I'll have to find something else to do today, I suppose. Where should I go once I get ready? I want to find out what this critical strike is. What is this? I heard of this place nearby, this arcade of sorts. Maybe I'll go there and see what's up. Well, that's pretty flashy around here. Hey, wait a minute. I feel like I've seen this place before. Hmm. It's pretty flashy and loud here. A lot of stuff going on, even though it doesn't seem like there's too many people around. Welcome to Critical Strike. Oh, hey, Chester. Oh, Thomas, what brings you here? Hey, T Chester, I heard about this place not too long ago, and I've been meaning to... I've never been here before. It seems pretty cool. What are you doing here? I work here. I had an early shift today, so I could be done in time to go to practice. But I saw you sent a ten message said that coach canceled it. Yeah, I don't know what he's feeling all that well. Well, that sucks, but I don't mind taking a day off. I can make some extra cash by staying a bit later. That's cool. What's going on, going on here? Ugh. Well, as you see, we have all sorts of arcade machines people can play on. We also have karaoke, pool tables, card tournaments, and tabletop gaming stuff. I know this place! Kansas City has a good number of these places. Especially one, like, actual arcade bar. It's pretty fucking cool. There's tons of things you can do here. Yeah, that sounds pretty, pretty neat. It's great! Like, check this out. There's a new machine we got recently. It's a shooting game. You can use all the guns in the machine to take out the enemies coming at you. You can gather up power-ups and other cool things make you stronger, but you gotta make sure you don't get hit too many times or else it's game over. You just explained the concept of a fucking shooter! I get it! Yeah, I'll, I'll just give it a shot. Normally, uh, you'd have to pay to play, but since I work, you have a MasterCard list of free games. So, it's okay that I play? Yeah, that's kinda how we get people to come back and spend money. Fucking... I went to a place, uh... Oh, God. I went to a place, it's like Alienware and... Not Alienware. Um, it's this place in Kansas City where I, we went and they let us play a certain amount for free and they like would give us like drink, like they were real nice. And they, I bought a t-shirt so I could advertise it on all of the above and then I never went back. <laughs> Just to pull out a card of his pocket and shove it in the card slot in front of the machine. There we go, now this, let's play for a bit and there are a couple of credits on this game so you can play for now. We have no one work. I have some work to be done, I'll check in when I can. All right then. If you don't, uh, if if I don't see you when I finish here, I'll just wander around and look at things. Go for it. If you need me, ask another person that works here. They can tell you why I'm at. All right. Thanks, Chester. I'll right, give this game a shot and see what's up with it. It shouldn't be too hard. Just aim the gun and fire at the bad things, right? You started playing the game to prove much more challenging than you expected. Tick. This wouldn't be so hard if I wasn't playing alone. It would be fun if I was someone was playing with me. Ten minutes passed and you blew through all the credits that Chester had left you with. That stuff went with quick. Went 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 quick. I wonder how much is uh, it is for more credits. I'll check out the front counter and see what they have posted. Nobody's up at the front counter right now, it seems. So uh, they do have but they do have prices up front. <sighs> Looks like each credit is a quarter. So I guess it's not too bad. Each time I'm playing two credits a play. Uh, now that I know the prices, I can plan for the future and maybe come back when I have some money. Looks like I win tickets and prizes here too. Well, that's nice. Let's see what the prize shop has to offer. You took a look at the, the small room located near the front of the counter and the full, small, full items, tickets, numbers posted in front of them. Me mostly pieces of plastic with no real value, though there are some neat things in there, but it seems like it costs a lot of tickets. That's how fucking arcades work, man. There's some cute little plush things, game systems, and even trading cards. I think I'll try to get my hands in tears and sometimes see what I can get. I don't really feel like spending any money today, though, so I think I'll hold up a bit longer. I just want to look around. 
He went back wandering around the arcade, examining all the different machines. Most of the prize machines seemed rigged to, to you, so you never get try to try them. Um, as you look around, you found Chester with a broom and dustpan in hand. Oh, there you are. Hey, thank you, Thomas. What'd you think of the game? It's fun, but I think it would have been better if someone else was playing. Yeah, it's more of a multiplayer game. Oh, by the way, here. Just hand you a plastic card similar to the one he had used earlier. There's a membership card. I set one up for you. Whenever you decide to come in and buy and play, show them this card and you'll get more credits for what you paid for. Get you discounts on a lot of services and stuff right here, too. Oh, thanks, Chester. No problem. That just means you have to come back now. <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'll come back. I'm heading home now, though. I really, really just want to look around for today. Alrighty. We'll be sure to come back soon. Will do. I'll see you around, Chester. Well, that's cool. Critical strike. Interesting. I haven't heard from the coach since this morning. I sent him a few other texts throughout the day, and he hasn't replied to any of them. He's ignored my call earlier. I wish he'd at least send me a message to say something. This feeling I have right now, I hate it. I worried some about him, and I'm feeling bothered that Diana is back. I can't say I've never felt like this before. I've ever felt like this before. I'm going to send him one more message, and that'll be it for today. Hey, Harold, I haven't heard from you today. I hope you're doing all right. Let me know, please. I'm kind of worried. That's all I can do now. I can't even drive. To, I can't. I I can't even have the drive to do anything else other than lay in my bed and wait. Oh, oh, that's him. I'm alive. Don't worry. I'm just having a rough time right now. Uh, this text isn't like any of the other texts you said before. Diana's texting. You sure your texting's kind of off? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right then. It looks. Uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks, Thomas. Thanks, for what I wonder. At least he replied to me, but I'm still a little concerned. I guess I'll have to wait till class tomorrow. Hopefully he'll be back to normal by then. Did you write your haiku? You need to write your fucking shit! Did I don't fuck around with school assignments, bro! Another restless night. I'm gonna hurry up and get to class so I can see Coach. I should my mind a bit. No time to laze about! Huh, he's not in right now. His lights are off again. He must be getting caught for something. I am a little early. I guess he'll be here shortly. He took a seat on a bench outside of the classroom while he waited. Students began congregating around the door, but when it was time for class to start, Coach still hadn't shown up. Oh, God. At that point, people began walking away. What the fuck are you guys wearing? Uh, is this the same thing that happened last week? Yeah, we had no pride. I don't know what the fuck voice to do for Spencer. He seems like he'd have a, a sharp voice, in, sort of, but... Yeah. No. We had no practice yesterday, and we have no class today. What's going on, Thomas? I don't know. What well, should I know? Well, you're the one that have relayed message yesterday. Why would you tell everyone not to just do it himself? Besides, I know something's going on between the two. Good lord, will you just back the fuck off? Lay off him, Darius. I'm sure he had reasons for having Thomas do it. Well, he knows why Coach isn't here. What makes you so sure of that? Oh, come, Spence. Don't act dumb. You know as well as I do that he knows something. His wife came back to town. What? Coach is married? He's divorced, Darius. How would you know? You'd be surprised how much I know. But, Thomas, you said she's back in town? Yeah, it really seems to have affected him. For him to have missed practice in class again, it really must have thrown him for a loop. Coach has an ex-wife. I never pegged him to be a straight man. Shut up, Darius. Are you going to check on Thomas? I have to wait until class is over today. He's most likely asleep right now. I can give you right after class then. And if his ex is back in town, that means she could be there too. Darius. Oh, he's right, Spencer. She's there right now. Oh, is that so? Then would you rather not go over there? Um... I'm worried about him. I'd still like to check up on him. Then it's settled. I'll take you there after our math class. I can go too. I want to see what his wife looks like. No, Darius. You're not going. You need to stay out of it. Why are you getting involved? I'm not. I'm just going to give him right over there so he doesn't have to walk or take the bus. Once I drop him off, I'll be leaving. <laughs> Whatever you say. Come on. Let's head to our math room so we can get our last week's assignment while we wait for a class to start. I'll help keep your mind busy. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You might as well come along too, Darius. Like I wasn't going to anyway. Time dragged on, but eventually you were finished up with your math class and it was ready to leave with Spencer. 
Way to get going, Thomas. I that all these voices that are going down here. Like I got so many other voices that can go in so many other directions, but all of them are going down here. Time to go. Darius, you're not going. I'm just dropping him off, then I'm leaving. Don't you have anything better to be doing? No. Come on, if you're just dropping him off and leaving, that means I can't stick around if I'm riding with you, right? Besides, I know there's something going on between the coach and Thomas. Oh, fuck! Stop! Clearly, you know too. Jeez, Darius, you're really the worst when it comes to stuff like this. It's fine, Spencer. Is it really that obvious to both of you? Wait, you're kidding, right? I was helping push you two together. <laughs> It might not be obvious to everyone, Thomas, but I caught on pretty quick. I've been watching you two interact with each other, and it's a little personal at times. But that doesn't matter. Let's get you over there to his place so you can check on him. Alright, let's go. I guess you're coming along too, Darius. Sweet. But I swear, I'll drop you off somewhere and leave you if you, if you step out of line. Yeah, yeah, I got it. This is the place. Damn, Coach has a nice place. Yeah, it's a really nice house. Well, text me later and let me know what the coach is doing, alright? And send me a picture of his wife. I still want to know what she looks like. I wonder if the kind of woman she's he's into. Ugh, Darius. Thanks, Spence, for bringing me. I'll be sure to let you know how things are. You press the front door and test that knob before knocking. It's locked. Danik's car, car is gone, but Coach is here. Coach is just here. I wonder if they're out right now? You rang the doorbell and waited a couple minutes for an answer, but I never came. Oh, man. I don't even know if he's home now. Spencer drove off already, so if he doesn't answer, I guess I'll just come back later. Unless... Coach said the side gate was already unlocked. I can check the back door. Yeah, let's hope the back door is unlocked, too. Huh, good it is. Before walking to the house, you poked your head through the door. Hal, do you home? Coach Grifter? You could hear the TV from the living room as you walked in. Harold? The TV was on, but there wasn't anyone around. I wonder if he's in his room. I'll check, but if he's in there, I'll leave. Crypto his room and pushed the door open, you sighed heavily when you saw him laying on his bed. He was curled up to his side, hugging a pillow while snoring loudly. He was wearing nothing more than a muscle shirt and underwear at this point. He's out cold. Should I wake him up? Uh, pursue the plot! You gotta pursue the plot. That's, that's the point. Wake him up. Pursue the plot. Fucking fuck. Oh, God. I really should make sure he's okay now. You approached the bed and sat down beside him. Harold? He doesn't seem to respond to your voice, so you put his hand on your shoulder and shook him gently. Hey, wake up. Thomas, what are you doing here? Bear sat up, rubbing his bleary, bleary, bloodshot eyes. I was worried about you. Didn't show up at school this morning, and after yesterday's tanks, I was concerned. How'd you get in my house? I always find a way. You always leave a way for me to get in your house. The back door is unlocked. I don't get break in here. I'd never know. Are you all right? Your eyes are all red. And the fur around him looks mad at it. Has he been crying? Oh, I'm all right. Oh, wow, even on the picture, his eyes look a little red. Damn. When he spoke that time, you noticed something foul about his breath. Looking at the night sand, you saw an empty bottle laying at his... Oh, he's been drinking! Besides that, you saw... Oh, no pills! Oh, Lord, I had a guy come into my hotel the other day, took a fistful of pills, and he was fucked. We had to get him out of the... Take him to the hospital. Shit. Uh, have you been drinking? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He has that. Your breath and the empty bottle at your nightstand. Your eyes are so red. Are you sure you're all right? Looked up at the pill bottle beside his bed, and he looked back over you before putting his face in his paws. I drank an entire bottle after I left. I just wanted to go to sleep. It worked eventually. Harold, are you drinking after you took your pills? He sighed, and his, drawn, his eyes were drawn back to you, and he gave you a weak smile. I thought about that, you know. I knew it would happen if I mixed them, so I didn't. Oh, thank God. For the record, if you drink alcohol after taking pills, especially an inordinate amount of pills, that's a very common way to get incredibly sick and kill yourself. So, for those who don't understand that, there's a link to... I, I, in every video, I, I, I put a... A link to the uh, suicide prevention hotline in the in the description, just in case anyone needs it. I haven't taken any of the pills in a few days, honestly. I haven't felt like I needed them. Now, though, now with what's happened in the last couple of days since Diana showed up, go in the living room while I recompose myself and clean up a little. I won't be long. I'll just watch TV. Sat alone. You sat alone for around 15 minutes before he joined you again in the living room. 
He sat on the, uh, on the couch beside you, leaned over with his elbows on his knees, wringing his hands together. So, you want me to tell you how things have been? If you need to, Harold, you can tell me. I'll listen. Well, since you showed up so suddenly, I just haven't felt right. My head's been cloudy, my chest hurts, my stomach is in knots. I've always wanted... I always thought I wanted to show back up and be in my life, but now that she has, she's changed since we separated. How so? There's something about her that just isn't the same. She's not the same girl I fell in love with. It didn't feel right. Nothing about the time I spent with her here felt right. The night after I, that night after I dropped you off and came back, she was in my room. She was sitting on the foot of the bed waiting for me to get back. Hey, you're back now. Welcome home. Dad, what are you doing here? I told you I was here. Uh, I just needed a place to stay for a day or two until I checked back into my hotel. Couldn't you have called or something? I did, and you didn't answer. I even tried your cell, but it, it was said it was disconnected, so I suppose you got a new one. That's right, I got a new one a while back. So I tried. I didn't figure you would be. Uh, hey, it would be an issue just stopping by. Of course you fucking wouldn't, you bitch. It's not a problem, is it? No, no, it's fine. You're welcome to stay here. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Harold. Diana stood up and moved towards him. You're looking really good too. You put on a bit of weight, I see. I guess so. I eat out more than I should, but I keep up my gym routine at least. You know, I've missed you lately. Y you have? Mm-hmm. I've been a bit lonely without you. Have you seen anyone right now? Well... That guy I saw you early? Kinda. Nothing serious? I don't know yet. We, we just started, really. We just had our first date tonight. I see. Then I don't suppose this will hurt anything. Motherfucker! No! You say seeing anyone, that means no. I don't care if it's serious or not. That means no. Asshole! She leaned up and kissed the barrel, stroking his cheek. Caught him by surprise, and he didn't pull back. Instead, he grabbed her waist and pulled her closer to himself. Why did you leave me like that, Diana? You confused me. I was afraid, and I, I didn't know how to react. So I just shut you out. You know how much that hurt me. I've been in therapy for depression. I've been trying to cope with so much since then. I'm sorry, Harold. I, I didn't mean for that to happen. Again, she kissed him, letting her hands travel down to the front of his shirt, undoing the buttons one at a time. I've missed this so much. Oh, die. Yeah, well... He looked away from him, clenching your fists tightly. You were... Ready for what he was about to say, but it wasn't something you were expecting to hear during this talk. Before things got too far, I had to stop her. She pleaded with me, told me how much she missed me, how much she badly needed to feel my touch. It ended with us arguing, and she let it slip that she was seeing someone back in her town. Then I was being like a prude. Then I was being a prude like him. I told her just to go to the guest room and sleep. She gave in and left the following afternoon. But not before telling me she was glad we'd ended up not sleeping together. She thanked me for not letting her make that mistake, and she was feeling desperate. She she said she was still had feelings for me, but those feelings weren't quite the same as the love we first had. In the end, it turned out she only stopped here to first to try and sleep with me to satisfy the craving she had. And at first, I thought she wanted to make amends for how she treated me when she left. I was so upset, I went and got the alcohol, and... I don't know what else, how else to deal with the hurt. I figured I could numb myself to it, but alcohol only shoved me deeper into the darkness. At one point, I had my medication in hand, and after drinking half that bottle, I thought to myself, this pain, this can make the pain stop. Harold. I was about to down a handful of my pills when I got your message. He had been blinking back tears over a while, and his fur around his eyes was sweat. I put them back after that. I, I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't sent me that text, Thomas. I'm out of woke now woken up this morning. You you kept me from doing something stupid. By that time tears were rolling down his cheeks and you, you could feel the tears welling up in your eyes as also. Just knowing that there was at least one person out there that cared about me was all I needed. You you saved me, Thomas. You didn't wait any longer before throwing yourself against him, arms wrapped around his midsection. His arms wrapped around you, and he squeezed you tight with his head, chin in your head. On your head. In your head! Christ! Thank you for being there for me. Thank you so much, Thomas. As long as you need me, I'll be here for you. Thank you.
could hear him sobbing while he held you, despite how much he tried to stifle it. Listen to me. I'm just a big baby right now, huh? I can't make the tears stop. It's all right. Cry as much as you want. Your face was wet, too, when being pressed against him. You were overwhelmed to see your teacher in such a vulnerable mental state. It terrified you to think how much this could have happened if you had not sent that final text message last night. Sometimes that's all it takes, man. Coach Grifter, sobbing, eventually subsided, but he didn't let go of you. Can I ask you something, Thomas? What? I know I asked you the other night if you date me, and you said you would. Yeah? yeah and would it be too different if I asked you to be my boyfriend, too? I suppose it wouldn't be. Then you will be. You feel that emptiness I've had in my heart for... Okay, man. I know you're a, an English teacher, but... Chill. I know I'm not the ideal mate. But you're really someone special to me. Yes! God damn yes! Yeah, coach. I mean... Harold. I think that'd be great. Even with how messed up I am right now, you'll have me. I'll call you mine, flaws and all. I'm here for you no matter what, all right? He squeezed you even tighter before finally releasing you. More of the fur on his face was matted from his tears, but he was smiling through it all. I'm so happy to hear that. I'm really happy to hear that. He rubbed his eyes with the back of his paws and stood up. Well then, I'm emotionally spent now. I'm sure I look like a wreck, don't I? You just look exhausted. I feel exhausted too. I should take a shower and see if Maria will cook dinner for us. What? No, I couldn't. I mean, I could use a ride home, so... I guess I should offer you a ride back home. It isn't a little early for dinner. By the time you clean, we get all the way over there, it'll be around dinner time. Better than we could just talk with Maria until it's time to eat. Okay, I'll be, I'll be back in a bit. Sure. I'll call Maria real quick and see if she minds. Hello? Hey, Maria. Oh, Thomas, where are you? Uh, sorry, I'm at the coach's place. He really needed someone to talk to. Oh, the poor man, how is he? He's fine now. I was just wondering if you could cook dinner tonight. If it would be okay if I invite him over. Certainly. I'll be sure to have a good meal. Good thing this homeless shelter has so much food to go around. It's a little early now, but I can have dinner ready around 6 if that'd be alright. I'd be perfect, Maria. Thank you. You're very welcome. I suppose I'll see you two in a little bit? Yeah, we'll be there in a bit. Alright then, be careful on your way home. Will do. Thanks, Maria. That's taken care of. Now I just have to wait for Harold. I feel so drained right now, I think I'll nap for a while while I wait for him. You kicked off your shoes and made yourself comfortable on the couch. It didn't take long for you to fall asleep. Thomas. Thomas, wake up. Mm hmm? Here we go. Oh, I dozed off. Yeah, you've been out for a couple hours. Did you want to talk to Maria before you passed out? Yeah, I did. She's making dinner. Oh, we should head over there. It'll be ready around 6. Well, it's about an hour till 6. Not a bad idea to head over there now. Alright, let's head off. Maria, we're here. Welcome home. I was beginning to worry. Thomas passed out on my couch while I was re getting ready. I let him sleep a while, so it's my fault. We're late. Oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Dinner still has about 30 minutes until it's ready. I hope Lasagna's okay with you two. Sounds great, Maria. Thank you for having me over. My pleasure. It's been so nice having you over so soon. You two, uh, go ahead and have a seat. Let me get you a drink. Water? I oh, shit. Water, iced tea, soda? I'll have tea, thanks. And I'll just have water. Alright, I'll be back. Does she know anything about today? Does she know anything about today? I didn't tell her anything about today, no. What does she know? Just about her date and who showed up at the end. Ah, I see. Well, I'd like to avoid that last topic if at all possible. Ah, don't worry, knowing Maria, she won't bring that part up at all. Okay, if you don't think she will, I'll try not to think about it. I took a seat at the table with uh, he took a seat at the table with you beside him, and Maria returned a few minutes later with the drinks. So, Coach Grifter, I take it you had a good time out the other night. Thomas seemed really to enjoy it. Oh hell yes, ma'am, uh, had a good time myself. Wonderful, I'm so glad to hear that. I'm happy to see Thomas going out with friends for a change. All he would do, all he was doing was going to school or practice. It's good, great. It's a great change of pace for him. I understand how it is. It's really all I've had time for lately, other than that signing event I did. Oh, it was a lot of fun to go out to get someone else, though. Yes, it was. I'm really thankful you took me out. It's the least I could do since you helped me so much with my with my yard. It was really a wreck. You got that right. You should have seen the way how overgrown it was, Maria. We had to put some work in it to make it look nice again. 
It was worth it in the end, right? You have free access to a pool whenever you like. That's right. You're welcome to join him whenever he decides to take advantage of him, Maria. I'll keep that in mind. It's been a little while since I went swimming. Uh, the weather is heating up soon, too, so it might sound like a fantastic idea. You're both welcome at any time. Thank you for the offer. I think we'll just turn it into a barbecue. That's what I thought, too. We could, we could have the whole team there. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. I could meet everyone else, finally. So, how does that sound for the future, Coach? That sounds like a great idea. We'll have to plan for that. We sat down and chatted a little while while you both waited for it disappeared into the kitchen again. By the time she returned, she had a pan of lasagna with her. And we will find out how good that lasagna is on the next episode! Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Extracurricular Activities. And I've been the trained unprofessional speaking for the voices in my head when I say, Until next time, fairly well. Bye, everyone! Ugh. Lord!